I made a video a little while ago explaining the problem with Frank Woods making a return within Black Ops 6 is that he would have to be crippled. He would have to be in a wheelchair. Well, guess what happened in Warzone today? Deployment to the Warzone has been authorized. Gear up fast. We're about to get evil. New orders, kids. We got intel there might be key information here to finally reveal that mole we've been hunting. Now get out there and get to work. Okay, okay, okay. You're probably wondering what the heck is going on here. I need to add a little bit more explanation to exactly what is going on, and then we can dive into the whole Frank Woods things and break things down. If you booted up Modern Warfare 3 or Warzone today, you may have noticed that the main menu has updated, but that wasn't all that got updated. So to fully understand this, we kind of have to go back to last night when a couple of different things happened. Number one, I got sent one of these pagers by Call of Duty. That pager went off last night showing this message. When you use the little decoder thing that they give you, this translated to a mole hunt. Then this morning, we got that update to the menu screen as well as this. There was a series of events put into Warzone that are the following. The first of which is in Warzone, get one operator kill with an old friend. That is the Sally challenge that was added in over a week ago. However, other challenges include discover Intel uncovering the mole. She never let me down. And finally gained the exclusive execution, which is the sitting bull execution that we saw with Frank Woods several times before. But as you can see, to complete these, there is zero out of one, zero out of one. And for gain the exclusive execution, there is zero out of three. So what I think that actually means is this is currently bugged. And to get the zero out of three, you have to complete the three missions above that. That's why those are zero out of one. And the other ones is zero out of three. Complete all of the missions, then you get the execution. So then I went and live stream this morning, trying to figure out what these challenges did. And as it turned out, they weren't quite live yet. But then around noon Eastern Standard Time, my pager went off and this is what it showed. And what this translated to was who can you trust? Once again, bringing up more questions with this mole. So then we got this update. This happened at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and it is the June 3rd update, which is today. It said updated briefing to all Yurzikstan operators. Update. Operators dropping into Yurzikstan area of operations have reported comms interference prior to infill. Suggest checking equipment, confirming this anomalous activity, and exercising caution should additional intel be imparted during this time. So let's go into Warzone and see what's going on there. So here's the weird part about all of this is when I go into game, this update is not live for me. There's a couple of ways that I can tell. Number one, when I boot up the game, it doesn't play that Black Ops 6 menu screen that we saw before. Also, when I go into Warzone and go to my challenges, it is not tracking properly. It shows that I have zero out of three when it should show that I have one out of three. So when I go into game, it doesn't play that cutscene, and you might be having this happening too. So. Where did I get that cutscene from? Someone posted it on Twitter by the name of Mark of Hero. He's a part of Carnage. He posted it and that is where I got it from. But later today, this should be happening for everyone. And I don't think many people realize how massive the implications are of this small cutscene. Let me play it again and I can explain to you what I'm talking about. Deployment to the war zone has been authorized. Gear up fast. We're about to get evil. We got intel there might be key information here to finally reveal that mole we've been hunting. Now get out there and get to work. So this is our first look at Frank Woods in Black Ops 6. This is what he is going to look like in game. And it also tells us that he is indeed in a wheelchair. I will come back to that one in a second. But it appears as though Frank Woods is going to kind of be the intel guy within Black Ops 6. He's going to speak to you over the comms. He's going to give you information on your missions. And as you can see behind him, we have a map. I couldn't find anything in particular on that map of any interest. However, there is a map there. He is going to be our intel guy, and in this situation, he is informing us that there is a mole within the CIA, and we need to find him. Hence, what we are seeing with the pager calls that we are getting that I showed you earlier, and that event that we are getting within Warzone. Now, 
Back to Frank Woods being in a wheelchair. Now, why is this important, especially for Black Ops 6? This tells us that indeed the canon for all of the Black Ops games is going to be carried forward within Black Ops 6. How do we know this? Why is Frank Woods in a wheelchair? In case you didn't play Black Ops 2, there is a mission in Black Ops 2 during the Panama City invasion. I will probably make a video going over this later this week. If you want to see that, hit the like button. But in this mission, Frank Woods is holding a sniper on who he believes is Raul Menendez. As it turns out, this is a trap set up by Raul Menendez. Frank Woods eventually takes the shot and the person behind that hood is his best friend and co-soldier, Alex Mason. Now, after this happens, Frank Woods gets shot in one knee and then Raul Menendez steps up to him and shoots him in the other leg. He is crippled, leaving him in a wheelchair. We then see him in Black Ops 2 in the year 2025 in a wheelchair, unable to walk. And I was wondering what they were going to do with this because we knew Frank Woods was coming to Black Ops 6, but he can't be an operator being stuck in a wheelchair. So as I mentioned, it appears as though we got our answer to that today. Frank Woods is going to be our comms man within Black Ops 6. Now, more importantly, we don't know where this leaves us with Alex Mason because there are two different endings to Black Ops 2, one of which Alex Mason was survived and indeed Frank Woods only shot him in the knee. And in the other one, he was 100% dead. So we don't know what's going on with Alex Mason yet. We may or may not find that out in Black Ops 6. So this brings us back to the event that is currently going on within game. Currently, I can't do any of these things to complete it. I don't even have that cutscene that we looked at before. So I'm assuming it's going to go live later today. And I'm guessing, I don't know this, but I'm guessing that this is going to be an event that we see carried on throughout the week and not just end today. Because I have a video going over what we know about this reveal event. And this is not the only part of it. I went over that yesterday. If you want to check out that video, it'll be linked after this video or down in the description as well. But the reason why I made this video is because what this tells us, seeing Frank Woods in the wheelchair, seeing him return in this manner, is that all of the Black Ops games and everything, all of the lore that we have seen is going to be canon in Black Ops 6. And we are only going to get more answers as to what is going on in the Black Ops universe moving forward with the reveal and much, much more. So the takeaway to this is indeed Frank Woods is making his return in Black Ops 6. We're going to be seeing him in a wheelchair. He's going to be our comms man, and we're going to be hearing much, much more from this character moving forward. Now, I'm curious to see who else is going to return, what other secrets are going to be unveiled, and if you want to stay up to date. And of course, when this event goes live and we figure out how to do it, I will keep you guys updated with a video on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed, have notifications on. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace. We are, we are rich. For the stars, but we'll